everyone, it's Julia and today I'm going to make some hot process beer soap. Um, right now what I'm doing is uh, getting my lye and beer mixture ready. Um, that's cold beer, it's not frozen, but it is flat. And I put in there some Tussa silk to make the soap extra silky. As I stir here, you're going to see uh, it start to foam up. I just stop and wait for that to cool down or to um, go away, and then I just keep on stirring. Um, when you mix the lye with beer, it gets really, really hot. Um, occasionally, well, when I do cold process, I, I usually put it on ice, but um, because I'm doing hot process, it really doesn't matter. And uh, plus, this beer should have been completely flat but as you could see it still had a little bit of alcohol left in it or fizz um, but it's it's doing okay now so I just stir the lye completely up until it completely dissolves and then let it sit as my oils are starting to melt while my oils are melting um, I prepare my mold all that is is a PVC pipe. It's a three inch pipe and I just use some freezer paper and I tape it to the bottom. I usually tape um, four times um, to cover the bottom completely because I do a lot of banging and if you don't the, the paper will rip. And then once I get that done, I go around the edge of it to completely seal it so you don't have any soap leak out once you start banging it down in the mold. And actually, this will also work just fine for a cold process too. Holds it well. Right now I'm putting in a colloidal oatmeal. I like to add that finely ground oatmeal into the soap because it, it, it adds to the uh, moisturizing and silkiness of the soap along with the uh, tussa silk that I put in. And there goes my beer. Now I timed this video or timed this soap um, while I was making it so that way you'll get an idea of about how long this takes. Usually when I do videos, I really don't ever time it or look at the clock. I just kind of eyeball it because I've made it so many times I know what it looks like. But um, I've uh, each each time that, that I check on the soap um, is about 15 minutes. I just stick blend it until, uh, until it's all in incorporated together. It's it's kind of a light trace, but that doesn't matter. You don't have to get hot process up to a really thick trace at all. The heat does it just fine. Also, bubbles don't matter either. In cold process, you really don't want those bubbles in there, but in, in hot process, it, it, it really doesn't matter. Alright, this is a 15 minute mark, and what I'm doing here is just stirring it around. You can see after 15 minutes, and I have this on low. Um, I don't cook it on high and I don't cook it on warm. It's it's on low and as you can see it's already in the kind of what they call an applesauce phase. And this right here is 15 minutes again. So we're at a total time of 30 minutes. And I'm just stirring it up. It's, it's getting more gel like. Okay, 45 minutes, another 15 minutes, and you can see it's it's starting to look a lot more gelled, kind of foamy, and 
yet still slippery, so it's not quite there yet. All right, 15 more minutes. And look at that go, it's boiling out of the pot. Now, this last 15 minute segment, what I do, and this is about an hour, um, I just stir it really well, and it is almost ready. And at this point, which during making this video, I forgot to turn on the camera, so um, I'm just gonna tell you what I did. I stir this up really, really well until it, it, it kinda goes back down, and then it'll start looking more gel-like. And then, I put the lid back on it and turned the crock pot off and just let it sit for 10 more minutes and it's completely done at that point. But it's almost looking like runny mashed potatoes so I just keep on stirring it um, just that extra 10 minutes in the crock pot with the crock pot off it, it, it turns to completely it turns completely gel and, it, and it's it's a lot darker than this. It'll it'll look a lot darker. You'll see it in a few minutes. I'm sorry I forgot to uh, turn on the camera when I first started filling my mold up, but yeah, it happens. At least I didn't forget to put something in the soap. Well, here it is. As you can see over there in the pot, it's see how it's dark. That was 10 minutes after. Um, after I uh, put the lid back on it with the crock pot off and uh, once that was done 10 minutes later I just took I just put my fragrance oil in mixed it in really really well you've got to uh, mix it in really really well and then just started molding it now I put a few spoonfuls in at a time and then bang it on the counter sometimes the floor but um, that's to try to get the air bubbles out occasionally I'll get some air bubbles in the very, very top. It's weird. I don't know how it happens. I call it Swiss cheese soap, and it goes in my shower. But um, most of the time, I don't. I just fill it completely up, and then uh, just bang it down, and then leave it to set until it cools off, and then pull it out of the mold. I have a little bit left in the mold, or I'm sorry, in the crock pot. And then what I'm going to do with that is uh, put it in a little mold, let it cool off real quick, and then I'll show you the lather test. There's my cooled off soap. It's still a little warm actually. And I'm just going to lather up and show you how well it lathers. Beer soap is excellent shaving soap. It's very silky. Um, men tend to love it. I think it's the name beer in there that, that kind of draws them to it. Once this soap completely cools off and sets for a few days, you won't smell any of the beer. Right now, when it's hot and first cut, you're still going to smell some of the beer. Um, but once it sets a few days, all you sell is a fragrance oil, or if you don't fragrance it at all, it, it doesn't have a smell. I don't drink, but I don't mind the smell of beer, so it doesn't really bother me. And there's my soap log. I'm going to grab Bud's cutter. I absolutely love this cutter. I don't know what I'd do without it anymore. Here lately I've been making salt bars and using it and it's recommended not to. I've been abusing this poor thing but it's held up just fine. I love this thing. He's on Etsy if you ever want one for yourself, Bud Hafner. And there you go. Hot processed beer soap.